Oh, do. Time for another beer review. And for those who aren't aware already, on a Monday, I review a different beer from Cumbria. Today is a very important beer. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but it's important beer. So this is from Oliver Chester Brewery. And it is perhaps the greatest goal, 90 plus 5. Now, for those who don't know me uh, and haven't seen the big clues with some of the football shirts that I wear in my videos. I am a massive, massive Cali United supporter. Um, I'm massive in my belly, I'm massive, but I'm a massive supporter of my team. And um, I'm a Cali United season ticket holder. I have been for as long as I can remember. I think I've only had two years since 94 that I haven't had a season ticket. Massive, massive part of my life. And this beer was brought out last year um, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Jimmy Glass's goal, and that's a picture of Jimmy there on the bottle. So Jimmy Glass was an on-loan goalkeeper from Swindon Town. Um, Carly United needed a win on the last day of the season and to better Scarborough's results, and um, it was the 90 plus five minute, and Jimmy Glass went to the other end of the pitch, the on-loan goalkeeper, and scored the goal to keep us in the Football League. Um, it is absolute Roy the Rover stuff. He is a legend in um, in Carlisle, and... Um, this this tracksuit top was given to me that day. I was at the game. It was given to me by one of the players who wasn't um, playing that day. So this is the coat that belongs to Gareth McAlinden. So I had to put this on for this video. So um, it's from Oliver Chester uh, Brewery, the beer. Um, but one thing I, I should say actually before I, I get into it is that this is a limited edition beer um, produced by a local brewery to help celebrate the, perhaps the greatest goal of all time. Um, the Cali United Supporters Club London branch will be donating 10% of all profits to um, Tony Hopper's campaign for um, MDNA. So Tony Hopper was an ex-player at Cali United who um, sadly passed away to motor neurons disease and um, some, of the, some of the profits from this beer are going to that. So uh, a fantastic cause. Uh, another man who's held in high regard in Carlisle. What a lovely man he was. Um, so, um, so yeah, this is Oliver Chester's. I've had, they're out of Brampton. Um, I have had some of their beers in the past and they haven't been the best, if I'm brutally honest. Um, so it's a traditional bit of that. It's very um, orange colour. There is a slight haze to it. There is a very steady carbonation going to a one finger of a white head. Let's get the nose. There is an orange, like a, a bitter orange aroma coming off this one. Slightly um, spices. It actually doesn't smell too bad. Um, so let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, there's like orange toffee caramel notes. Malty, um, medium body. Um, it's not as bad as um, I figured. It's okay. It's a solid bitter. Um, like I say I have had some of their bees in the past and they haven't been the best, but it isn't actually too not that bad. So yeah, orange toffee. Um, very very um, just a hint of a bitter finish. Um, it's got. A, Decent body on it. It's a, it's a good, steady English bitter. I'd happily drink this again. Um, if this beer's knocking about in Brunton Park, I'd probably drink this over the other options that are available in Brunton Park um, if I ever get back in there to watch my team. But it's a solid, solid bitter. Um, so I will add this beer to my Cumbrian playlist. Um, check it out if you see it. It's a solid bitter. Um, and you can see some of my other reviews of different Cumbrian beers that I have reviewed over the last few weeks um, so thank you for watching please click subscribe um, if you haven't done so already and uh, on to the next one blues 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 <laughs>